Another week, another character overview. I thought I'd start off the video like I do, explaining what the character overview series is for DC Heroes and Villains and how you guys can kind of contribute to that. So essentially, a character overview is an overview of the characters, taking the facts from the game and throwing in my opinions, mixing it all together, throwing it at you for you guys to discuss, throw it back at me and create discussion. It's a series that's gonna forever evolve as I create it. I might change a few things here or there. Obviously, things in game can change, but I'm hoping that you guys can join me for the journey and enjoy this character overview series. Hello heroes and villains, welcome back to the channel, Jen here, hope you're all well. Welcome back to another character overview for DC heroes and villains. And this character is a favourite of mine, in game and out of game, so I may be a little bit biased when I'm going through this character. But nonetheless, we're going to dive in deep and talk about Nightwing. Now, before we go into Nightwing's in-game statistics, I like to have a brief history of the character, and Nightwing has certainly got a history, so let's get into it. Richard John Grayson was once Batman's first sidekick, Robin, before going on to become Nightwing. Once, he took up the mantle of Batman when Bruce was thought to be dead but became Nightwing once again after the events of Flashpoint. After Forever Evil, Dick's identity was revealed to the world and Bruce convinced him to give up being Nightwing to become an agent of Spiral. As Nightwing, Dick led the Teen Titans and later the Outsiders. And for those that didn't know, when Nightwing made his DC first appearance, Dick Grayson first appeared as Nightwing in Tales of the Teen Titans, issue 44. With Nightwing's brief history out of the way, let's go into his in-game statistics in DC Heroes and Villains. His hero color is blue. His roles are fighter. A fighter excels of dealing damage to the enemy. They will typically have more speed and attack than other roles. And he also has the role of leader. A leader's abilities focus on increasing the team's attack. Let's go into Nightwing's resistances. He has a resistance to mental damage, plus 200%, and minus 50% for energy damage. Nightwing's group synergy is with the Titans and this focuses on block chance and block damage increasing with the more members of Titans you have in your team and this is effective the whole battle and his ally synergy is with Batman when you activate both Nightwing and Batman synergy at the same time, you will be placing three random red tiles, three random green tiles, and three random yellow tiles with purple tiles. This is definitely beneficial for Batman. Now with the small statistics out of the way, let's move on to Nightwing skills. And please bear in mind that this is all based on all skills being at max level. His melee skill is a Scrimmer Stick Shock. This will attack a single target three times, dealing 85% energy damage. All allies will gain attack up by 35% for five turns. And this will also fill the charge bar of all allies by 35%. So the melee skill, this is when you are focusing on the front row against the enemies. And to be fair, it's not a bad attack at all. I don't think it's all in the damage. The damage is in there but I think it's all about the buffs that it provides. Attack up for five turns is definitely gonna help out all of those tile matches that you'll be going through. And then filling the charge bar of all allies by 35%. You can't complain with that because you have had the, um, the ability to use the skills of the rest of your team. So overall, not great in the damage department, but definitely helps out the allies a lot. So let's move on to his range skill, Flawless Acrobatics. This attacks a single target, dealing 180% piercing damage. This also increases the dodge chance by 40% for five turns. 
and this will destroy and launch a number of blue tiles based on the number of surviving allies. For example, you have four allies alive, that's four tiles. Three, three tiles, two, two tiles, and one, one tile. So this is where I'm gonna be a little bit biased. I really like Flawless Acrobatics. I use this ability all of the time, especially during raids. And the simple reason is the launching and destroying of blue tiles. Launching four tiles definitely gives you an increased chance of maybe getting some awesome matches on the board with other tiles. Sometimes it can be absolutely crazy, sometimes not so crazy, but I really like that risk factor and the fact that most times I've used it, it's created an awesome chain of tile matches, definitely got me the upper hand. Now is dodge chance that increases by 40%? This might sound not so great on its own, but when we look at his passive skill, we can see how this really is effective. Again, looking at the damage that this skill deals, it's not great damage, but it's damage nonetheless. It's just increased damage from the blue tiles being destroyed. That's where you're gonna get your damage, and it is definitely a skill to look into if you have Nightwing. So finally, his passive skill, Mark of a Leader. This increases the blue attack of all allies by 25%. When Nightwing dodges, all allies' dodge chance increases by 15% and their blue attack increases by 25% for five turns. Now this is where I said that his dodge chance from his range skill comes into play. Because if that dodge chance is increased for five turns after you've used Flawless Acrobatics, these passive skills are definitely going to come into light because he's going to end up dodging and when he dodges the rest of your allies are going to get a dodge chance as well having all of your team having a pretty decent dodge chance is less chance of getting hit less chance of getting hit means you can survive further in raids and really stretch out a battle to try and get the most out of it but we can't forget about the increase in blue attacks as well obviously all characters can contribute some damage to colors that are not their own so having that increase definitely helps if you've got another blue character in your team definitely going to help a lot and the fact that this can increase by a half by combining the last point with the first point increases anyway by default but having that additional 25 percent for five turns if you end up dodging it's great all around so if you are rocking an all blue team then your attack's gonna be crazy, you're gonna be dodging, you're gonna be flipping around like the Flying Graysons, and you're gonna be avoiding all attacks and doing pretty good damage with blue attacks. And that's why I think, on its own, with the range skill, not so great, but when you look at it with the passive skill, definitely, definitely has some merit to it. So looking at Nightwing as a whole, he definitely embraces his character here. He is an acrobatic, dodging a lot of attacks and having the attack there when you need it. Attack up from his melee skill, dodge chance from his range skill, and then overall kind of attack and dodge boosts from his passive is definitely a character you want to consider. And the reason why you want to consider him because you're going to be unlocking him through the weekly and daily milestone challenges the more you do the closer you get to unlocking him when you've unlocked him you can continue leveling him up his star level and he is definitely going to be an asset in your team again i'm a little bit biased because he is my favorite character in game and out of game so i might have a little bit of a bias when i'm talking about this but i'm sure you guys can chime in and let me know what you think of nightwing so there you have it, the character overview of Nightwing. Again, definitely, definitely consider him the dodge chance, even though it just sounds not so great because it's not attack, it's definitely gonna help out in the long run, especially spreading that over to the rest of your team. More blue characters you got, I'm sure the more power you're gonna bring to the table. And again, launching those blue tiles, four blue tiles can definitely change a battle if you can get a chain going, so consider that. Also, let me know what you think of Nightwing in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching these character overview videos. These will forever improve and be changed accordingly if there are massive kind of stat differences as the game comes to global launch. But for now, these will be fine and it allows us to discuss each individual character. Thank you for watching and until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.